we're close to the end of 2022 and your skin still not popping still ashy still hi guys welcome back to my channel we're getting to the end of 2022 and i know that for some of us one of our goals at the beginning of this year was to invest in our skincare and have better skin and i mean it's basically the last quarter of the year and maybe you're feeling like you haven't achieved your goal yet i know how discouraging that can be so i don't claim to be like a guru or a dermatologist or whatever but i feel like i can make this goal of yours a reality with a few tips perfection is like the goal and that shouldn't be the case like consistency is everything and it's not just in your job or in your career also in skincare like if you actually put in the work and by work i don't mean buying all the products i don't mean spending all your savings from january to october on skincare because guys trust me products are not even the answer like products are not the answer and this is going to sound very controversial and you may think that like oh my god but honestly i'm here to tell you as somebody who like name a skincare product that i have not bought or tried i am an enthusiast that's how much i'm into skincare so trust me when i say products are not the answer so don't beat yourself up because oh my god i'm seeing all these people on tiktok using snail mucin and i've bought all the snail mucin brands and i've tried everything and nothing is working like don't beat yourself up guys see products are not the answer in this video i am going to be basically giving you all the secrets on how to have glowing youthful clear skin without any product any product this is my skin i like one of the reasons why i do my videos with as little like makeup and now self currently no makeup i feel like i'm so over i don't know if it's because I'm, I'm like older or whatever and the world can say anything but i'm on that alicia keys wave i don't want to put anything on my face i feel like i have worked for this skin i mean look at it like i have put in the work so i'm going to let it breathe and let it shine so i'm going to be telling you how to have flawless skin with no products no products whatsoever if you're interested in this video i'm not about this marketing advertising life i feel like in 2022 and we're heading to 2023 it's a madness it's a madness like oh you need this oh you need that oh buy this buy that buy this buy that it's a scam guys it's a scam i'm not saying that products don't work please don't get me wrong i am not saying that products don't work like they are good everything not every brand intentionally has like your best interest but to a certain extent at the core of a lot of brands is just another human trying to help the human race trying to solve a problem you know so i'm not bashing skincare brands at all in fact i have skincare brands that i love that i will never stop repurchasing that are tried and trusted so when i'm coming from the angle of you not using any products at all i know what i'm saying okay so basically we're starting from scratch i need you to take a seat get some popcorn just take a seat because we're about to get you to that goal you know that that goal you had at the beginning of the year popping skin you're about to have it okay very simple you don't need to buy any products just take notes okay all right okay so the first tip i'm going to give you and the first um thing we're starting off with is the foundation the foundation of everything when it comes to skincare honestly guys i can't stress this enough is your overall health 
you see how like when you watch videos and stuff people tell you oh drink a lot of water it sounds like it's a lie it sounds like oh please it's not a joke it's not a joke the foundation at the core see your body is a temple think about it let's let's go back like ages and ages ago let's go back to when there was no pharmacies there were no labs there was no skincare there were still women who um have gone down in history for their amazing skin and their amazing skincare routines perfect example cleopatra cleopatra used to use um donkey's milk from what i gather milk and honey so all around you there are natural ingredients that have been made to nourish you so you need to look at skincare not just as buying stuff and all of that you're trying to make yourself a fuller person a healthier person and that boils like it goes back to having a foundation of health this year one of the things that i tried to do was simplify my routine like simplify it so much and i have a video on that um so if you want to check that out make sure you do that also i have a video talking about how i simplified my routine and what i use now so make sure you check out that video so that you can also know if you still want to get products and all of that like how to create a very simple routine and you don't have to still spend crazy money but this time around we're talking about like no products at all and one major part actually with our skin is hydration you see hydration and collagen production because literally as babies babies are born literally perfect think about it and they don't have no face wash in the womb they don't have anything all they're relying on is how well their mother like the mother is feeding herself and literally that's what helps their body produce um enough collagen and that's why they look you know plump and bouncy and juicy and yummy and delectable now one thing i've learned is that okay so for example um i was asking a, a couple of women like just um, pregnancy tips and all of that and one woman kept mentioning something about watermelon and she said like till date her child like when she was pregnant she always had a craving for watermelon and when she was born that her baby's skin was unbelievably beautiful and that till now that her daughter likes watermelon so much and that when she takes watermelon for a long time there's a difference in her skin and i was like hmm and i noted that down so honestly you don't need products you need to focus on hydration if you're somebody who doesn't like drinking water trust me i'm in that category i'm in that category so i find ways to make my water interesting i put fruits in my water i drink a lot of smoothies i try my best to create a lifestyle that is healthy but on my own terms apples bananas all of that and then there are people like us who like more watery flavors so you can do like a cucumber watermelon smoothie in fact i would advice like if you're focusing on hydration and you want that glow watermelon and cucumber smoothie unfailingly every day do it for like a month now so we're talking about health so one of the major ways that you can get to your skincare goal before the end of this year guys try your best to just take care of yourself more like this is going to be fun i'm basically telling you to eat eat guys eat drink be merry just do it with your health in mind do it with a skincare focus in mind lots of fruits lots of hydration drink a lot of water eat a lot of fruits fitness are also amazing my skin always glows after my workouts like little little things here and there but holistically you will see a huge difference in your skin okay so now this is the foundation right we've established the foundation the, the foundation is that you need to be healthier if you're not currently making those healthy choices you need to try okay you need to try like see you don't have to make your life bland and boring like take milk you can do like healthy milkshakes at home you know like make it fun but at the same time you know that you're feeding yourself with so much good nutrients that's just the goal 
however you want to go about it is up to you but i like do that that's the foundation now the next step i'm going to say is basically establish a routine establish a routine now you don't need products to establish a routine you don't need products to establish a routine i repeat you don't need products to establish a routine okay so let me shock you this year i decided to go to a dermatologist um i'm somebody who for a long time like i was born with pretty dry skin keratosis pilaris and i have struggled with that for a long time and this year i went to a dermatologist guess what all the products i was buying all the exfoliating cleansers face washes this dermatologist told me that i shouldn't be using soap i should never have been using soap like i should have never allowed soap touch my body from the moment i was born shocker so all these products that i was actually using were making my situation worse and i went to go and do some research on it and guess what guys some of your favorite celebrities don't use soap a lot of dermatologists advise them not to use soap and even with like tiktok trends there is a lot of conversations coming up about using face wash in the morning a lot of people say don't use soap in the morning don't you're stripping your face of its natural um its natural oils and all those like when you sleep at night when you get a good night rest and this goes back to the foundation of what i'm saying which is taking care of yourself and just self-care in general your overall health because if you're sleeping well your skin is rejuvenating every night when you go to bed your skin cleanses itself your skin reproduces the oils that it needs and if you know about oil cleansing then you should know that automatically every night your skin is cleansing itself by producing oils so when you wake up in the morning and you use that salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide or whatever i'm not going to say nonsense whatever thing that is on those bottles and you put it on your skin literally you're stripping away all your skin's hard work so it still boils down to this thing where we have to actually be a lot more conscious because the dermatologist told me that I shouldn't have been using soap. Nicki Minaj doesn't use soap. Perfect example. Like, she doesn't use soap on her skin. Rather, she uses, like, aloe vera juice on her face, kind of like a mask or like a toner, and that's what she uses. So, rather than, honestly, using soap to cleanse your skin, I would advise that you invest in natural toners rose water as your face wash if that's what you want to do you still feel like oh okay you know get roses i have like plain roses i use them for my yoni steaming and i use them on my skin as well i'm going to put a video um a link to if you want me to make a video on yoni steaming i'm going to do that if you want me to um, make a video talking about rose water as well just let me know but rose water ha like has changed my life rose water has transformed my skin and the funny thing about all these kind of things is that you can even drink it you can have teas every day and you're still cleansing your skin rose tea hibiscus tea rooibos tea and those like those teas are literally giving you a better cleanse than any sh like cleanser on the market trust me trust me guys this is not a joke like just try try all these things i'm telling you and let me know okay so now that i've, I've talked about that's the first foundation of, that's the first step in your routine so cleansing try to avoid um a lot of cleanser just take it take it take a moment and go natural for a while so um when you've established cleansing having your bath every day unfailingly second step i would advise cleanliness change try to change your bed sheets maybe like every week or every two weeks don't wait for like two months before you wash your sheets and your pillowcase you know like just try to be clean wash your hands before you touch your face be more intentional make sure your environment is clean and your so that your skin doesn't have to like 
go through reacting from dirt and all of that just cleanliness basic cleanliness change your pillowcase don't allow external people to touch your face too much too often clean clean your hands before you touch your face you can carry a sanitizer around with you and all of that if maybe you have like kids and stuff like that okay so um now that we've said that now the next step is going to be exfoliation exfoliation is so important guys it's so important like they are not lying when they tell you your skin renews itself and you need to take off those layers of dead skin as often as possible honestly what i would advise is not using a sponge every day but like interchanging it so every other day let's say you use a sponge on monday tuesday just have a bath with water rose water just have a bath massage yourself you can also incorporate dry body brush dry body brushing so using a body brush like before you pour water on yourself to just massage your skin and like scrub all over you can get these very affordable you know what to do you know what to do guys please make sure you subscribe make sure you click that notification bell because i put out videos every week saturday and i'm going to be giving you tea like info what nobody is telling you